The train, now arriving at platform one, is the 245 for crew. <sighs> Hardly Shakespeare, is it? I do all sorts of voice work. I'm currently the soothing voice of hemorrhoid cream. In my age, it's the only work I can get. As my ex-agent said in her final email, you are a tricky age to cast, Tracy. 50 to 60, there's just no parts. So here I am, using my beautiful chocolatey voice for Lindor adverts and the like. It was Edgar Lopez, theatre critic, who called me the girl with the chocolate voice. It almost got me a part as a Bond girl. Almost. It was about that time I found love, got married and fell pregnant. Not necessarily in that order. I went from having the acting world at my feet to piles of dirty washing and Lego bricks instead. When I tried to reignite my career, I was told I would have to lose weight and work out at the gym to look the part. I went home and ate crisps. It's too hard trying to be the mum that has it all. Husband, career and kids. You end up looking like a zombie and crashing the car. Now that was a bad day. Then Brian left me. For the girl in the supermarket advert. Do you know the one? She dances in trolleys and on top of cars. Stick thin and a good ten years younger than me. That's when I decided, bugger it. I'm going to give this acting malarkey one more go. I was 40 then and became quite in demand. Sadly, the parts were all downtrodden mum. Or mum who's abused by her husband. Or single mum who turns to drink. Nearly turned me to drink. All I wanted was a part as a strong, independent woman. We do exist. But it seems that once you turn 40, your independent days are over and you become a drudge. One role, I had two lines. Your tea is on the table and you can't go out without breakfast. I've got jowls now. Well, just like my old head teacher. I'm about her age when she took me to one side and said, Tracy, acting is no career for a young lady, and suggested typing. She was wrong. Acting is no career for a middle-aged woman. I've seen a group on Facebook it's a women's group protesting about the lack of meaty roles for women at the menopause. I've joined. I've never been particularly political or a feminist in any way. But this dog can learn new tricks. This bitch is learning fast. I'm damned if I'm going to spend the next 10 years saying that irritating itch could be thrush. The train, now arriving at platform two, is for feminism. All change. <laughs>